Let me just turn that down. I'm watching Everybody Loves Raymond. I haven't watched it for absolutely years, but every time I watch it, you can't help but laugh. I love Everybody Loves Raymond. But good morning, everyone. I've woken up incredibly early. Are we a little bit too bright there? It is only very early in the morning, and I had a little moment of realisation at five past five this morning. To be precise, I stood in the kitchen and I just thought, why didn't I just listen to my gut instinct that was telling me all along to just go with what I wanted in the kitchen and be brave? I can incorporate little bits of green here and there. I originally wanted to paint the kitchen green and I think I've just craved familiarity because sometimes when we see things that are familiar, it makes us feel at home. And I've probably gone in a little bit too hard. <laughs> with the whole let's make it feel like home because I didn't expect to you know have the house all perfect within a week and now it's going to take me two years I've given myself two years to get everything done in my mind I thought I'd have just settled straight in because I loved the house when I viewed it but it wasn't the case it's taken me a while and I've tended to go back to old ways to probably make it feel like home by painting the kitchen and I just wish I would have listened to my gut which was saying go green, go green, you can paint it any colour you want to paint it Tony, just go green and I didn't go green. So <laughs> I'm not going to say that the kitchen's going to stay this colour for a long time because I'm instantly like you are such a shit house, just go with what you want. <laughs> But it will end up green at some point, just not right now because there's just too much going on. So even if it lasts 12 months, that colour, it's done, it's painted. It's not finished. I bought two handle samples. Are they handle samples? I've just bought two handles anyway to see which I preferred on the kitchen cabinet. So I'm going to need your help with that to help me pick. I think I know which one I want, but I would love to know what you would choose out of these two handles. What I am considering is getting a little bit, because obviously I don't want to spend out on very expensive. Say good morning to everyone, Peg. Peg with the soap powder bowl. I don't... <laughs> she probably starts snorting her head off now. I don't want to spend out a fortune on kitchen handles because the whole point of doing the kitchen was on a budget so it looks nice for now. It's probably not going to be something that we keep but it's something that looks nice and will get us by for a few years if we need it to because one, there are far too many more important things that need doing before fitting a kitchen into this house. So we have major work starting in spring of 2024, which is a new roof and some remedial work, which was flagged up on the survey of the property. So that all starts in spring and that is going to be quite expensive. So we're trying to reserve funds for that work because you can never estimate how much something is going to cost because the chances are there will be something else added in so i'm just trying to make the best of what we've currently got and not rush in and do anything what i do love is that a shaker kitchen is actually really really nice and i've always been more of a handleless you know smooth surface without any grain i've changed my mind on that so i will give you a little look at where the kitchen's up to in a sec and and then I need to just clean up a little bit because there's dust everywhere, paint everywhere. The house is just a mess and it needs a real deep clean. And there's no better time than when you've got a little spare hour like this morning. It's not even seven o'clock and I'm prepared to get stuck in. I mean, I'm not going to hoover or anything until after eight o'clock, but I need to hoover also. And while we're on the subject of hoovering, Hoover, I've just gone and grabbed it so that you can see, has its biggest Black Friday event currently going on now. So I will link all the details in the description box down below for you to grab an amazing discount on a new vacuum cleaner. If you are looking for a cordless vacuum cleaner, I cannot recommend enough the Hoover. I think this is the HF9 Pet Vacuum, if my memory serves me well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's the Hoover HF9 Pet Vacuum. I will leave everything in the description box down below for this exact Hoover that I use. It comes with the stair attachment, the sofa attachment, the little long one for reaching down radiators or in little nooks and crannies that you can't reach. I have an amazing discount code which will save you £150 on the HF9 vacuum cleaner and it's Tony15. I'll pop it on the screen here and all of the details will be in the description box down below but I cannot recommend this vacuum cleaner enough. 
it has been a godsend because it charges super fast it stands up when you walk away from it this is the only cordless vacuum cleaner that i own that will stand up on its own and i mean i wouldn't walk away and leave it unattended it does have a fixing that you can fix to the wall to secure it when it's on charge it charges super fast it's perfect for hard floors or carpets has settings you can go turbo which gives it extra suction it even tells you how long you've got left as we do our little bit of cleaning i will show you how i use my hf9 vacuum cleaner i can hoover my entire house and still have battery left in this vacuum cleaner and it's got amazing suction power while the black friday sales are on it's definitely worth having a little look on hoover's website if you're in the market for a new hoover or a new cordless vacuum cleaner cannot recommend hoover enough you can probably see so much chaos honestly i, I kid you not the house is just there's just so much mess everywhere <laughs> but you know what we're getting there before i actually show you the kitchen it's not finished it's still got one, two, three, well I've still got three cabinet doors to clean, sand and paint, which is the fridge door, the dishwasher door and the door from under the sink. But everywhere else is looking good. But this, let this video just be a little gentle reminder to you to always be brave, always follow your instinct. If you want something, just do it, no matter how out of your comfort zone it is because I'm at that moment where I'm standing up in the kitchen going, yeah, you know, it's lovely, but I just wish I would have done it the way that I wanted it because it's not gonna surprise any of you and I know that it's not, but please understand why I chose to paint the kitchen this way. It wasn't brave, it's a lame ass excuse, but I just wanted it to feel like home and I'm like, oh, why couldn't I just be brave? Why do I just have to be? Why do I have to be so sensitive when it comes to this feeling like home? You know, I'm just embracing it now. I just have witnessed in my previous videos and I can't thank you enough for all of your kindness and appreciation of my art. You're all so kind, honestly. I don't know what I've done to deserve such lovely people watching my videos, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for being here with me and wanting to even see the progress that I'm making in this house. It means the world to me, so thank you so much. I think I'm just trying to delay actually showing me the kitchen. It's very messy. It's not a tidy kitchen by no means, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. And then before we actually get into some cleaning, I'm gonna answer a few questions from the video a couple of days ago. Ta-da! <laughs> like what <laughs> why didn't you go green tony why didn't you just go green this is where the kitchen is up to and i need some help with regards to the handles for the kitchen but this is where we're up to i've got a few more doors left to paint i've got to also paint the kickboards i'm going to give you a real close-up look at the finish on the cabinets just in case you're considering painting your kitchen i will go through all of the details if you want me to i just don't want to bore anybody and be like this is how i've done this and this is how i've done that i don't know whether it would bore you having a whole ramble of the process of how i got the kitchen to this but my kitchen is tiny it's tiny it's cozy i mean i can't span it but you know i can as good as span it let's spin you around if i pop you there this is the length of my kitchen i mean i can almost span it almost i don't have much in way of workspace which i'm really struggling with like really really struggling with because i've gone from having such a huge kitchen to this little small cozy kitchen but i love it i can't tell you how much i love it i'm not loving the color it's a mistake i've made but it's nothing that can't be fixed anyway let me get into showing you the handles so you can help me decide which handle and a little close-up of what the kitchen looks like this was the first handle that i was like mm, do i like it don't i i feel like when it's on the cabinet it's too long in comparison to this handle which is a little bit shorter 
Now, this is my preferred handle. I just feel like it's given a little bit of a feminine touch to the kitchen, but this handle, I feel like it's too long. If I just show you in comparison to the original handles that I took off, it is very long in comparison. So I'm leaning more to this handle. The only thing is, this handle doesn't come in like a bright brass gold. I, you know, I chose antique brass, but I feel like it just needs a little tiny bit more gold just to make them pop a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a little bit of rub and buff or buff and rub and just put a little bit of a brighter gold hue on the handles. And I think they're the ones that I'm gonna go for because Ollie said these ones looked a little bit medieval and that's not a look that I wanted to go for. I wanted to just add a very slight feminine touch. Now I'm gonna give you the close up of the cabinet so you can see how they took the paint. I put two coats of Zinza primer on and I used modern eggshell, estate eggshell, modern eggshell on the actual cabinets. So they've got good durability, like it won't chip or scratch. I've done a little tiny bit of sanding just so that the finish is perfect. Well, perfect for me. I feel like I achieved a really, really good finish on the doors. They're not too shiny. They're not too matte. And we have like no drip marks or anything like that. I mean, I did put the time in to prepare the doors by giving them a very gentle sand before I painted them. And I am happy with how they turned out with it being painted. And then this side, which was where all of the grease was. I just feel like this. I never dreamed I would get this type of finish. But that is how the kitchen is looking. This multi-surface cleaner is the nicest cleaner I have ever smelt, <laughs> ever used. It smells lovely. It's, the fragrance is called Golden Grass. Honestly, I cannot tell you how nice this is. It's from Zara Home. I purchased this maybe about a year ago. I bought two, I've used the other one. The other one didn't smell nowhere near as nice. But I'm gonna go online and see if I can buy this in a bigger bottle. This is 250 mil, smells unbelievable. That cloth's clean and it looks so dirty. I don't know how that's ended up back in the drawer, but I'll keep it for when I'm having to do a dirty job, but I'm not using that right now. Got a nice clean cloth. the little nooks and crannies down here I mean I don't even know whether you can see that there's a lot of dust down there um, uh, we have the remnants of a false nail <laughs> I don't even wear false nails but let's just see if we can get rid of all them little scabby dusty bits I'm going to use this nozzle
it actually looks like a brand new carpet in there now. Now that the house is nice and tidy, well, <laughs> nice and tidy, looking in this space, the house is nice and tidy. I'm going to go and get freshened up. I need to nip to Marxies and pick a few bits up, but that is everywhere, lovely and tidy. I'm going to show you how it looks now. The kitchen, the kitchen looks so nice. And in a future video, not too distant future, when the handles are here and I've finished doing the paintwork, I'll give you a full look of it, of how it looks. But, you know, who knows? <laughs> I'm sure after Christmas, I'll have to paint out again and I'll be painting this kitchen green. But as it stands, I'm more than happy with it because it's just, it makes me feel like I'm at home seeing a nice light kitchen like this. I'm thrilled to bits with how it's come out and it's not even finished. We've ordered a new extractor hood, which will be in the next videos that you see. I hope that you're enjoying these little daily uploads that I'm doing. Don't forget to check out Hoover's amazing Black Friday deals. They've got so many. I'll leave all the details down below. The HF9 vacuum cleaner from Hoover is amazing. I use it all the time. It charges super fast. It's really lightweight and easy to use. Can't recommend it enough. But now let me show you just how lovely the kitchen looks and the living room. I mean, you've seen the living room, but you haven't seen the kitchen with all my little finishing touches. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? I've added a little festive touch here. And I've also added a little festive touch here, which I absolutely love. On the windowsill here, I have a little Christmas tree which is my Timu Christmas tree and I absolutely love it. And then in this corner, I've got another little festive spot, which, you know what, I haven't got the space for a big Christmas tree and these Timu Christmas trees are making my, my Christmas, <laughs> making my kitchen look extra Christmassy. I absolutely love that. I think that looks lovely there. And I think this side, when I've got the extractor and the handles on the kitchen, it's gonna look so nice. But I've just got a little chopping board and I've made it look a little bit festive with more Christmas trees and I've lit a candle and I've popped my little kitchen Santa here and I just think he fits in perfectly there. And I am so happy with how it looks. I'll stand back here so you can see what it looks like and you get a little vision. I'm yet to put the cupboard back here and the cupboard door on here, but I think that looks lovely. That's so nice. It looks so cosy. I mean, I know you have seen it. I've just hoovered up and mopped, vacuumed the sofa and the chair. Dolly and Noah are extra comfy on the freshly vacuumed sofa. <laughs> yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and put a nice little Christmas movie on. <laughs> 